Welcome to Trains 21. In addition to this YouTube channel, you can also find us online at trains21.org and trains21.com. In one way or another, railroading in northeastern Pennsylvania has always been unique, or sometimes just different. The layout of the land, the color of the diesels, and the architecture of the ages are all things that have given northeastern Pennsylvania, as well as other places, a distinctive regional flavor that's unlike any place else. And although many outside of the rail fan community might argue that all trains pretty much look alike, knowledgeable rail fans can often tell a train's destination and purpose just by looking at its makeup. Take this train for example. It's early morning, July 9, 2020, and at one time, a seasoned rail fan could surmise that this train is the Enola-bound train 11Z. The Taylor-bound EMP containers would be the easy giveaway to that, but today, it's not the 11Z. Today, this train is the K82 Taylor to Binghamton, New York turn job that ran five and sometimes six days a week. The K82 is one of several local train crews that work out of Taylor Yard ever since NS began running things back in September of 2015. Seeing the K82 in daylight has always been rare since it has always been an evening train, usually with an 8 p.m. crew call time. By the time I caught the K82 here, Norfolk Southern's top 21 version of precision scheduled railroading had been implemented and was pretty much the law of the railroad. The K82 would soon be downgraded to running Bingo Town only on weekends while the newly minted H97 Binghamton to Taylor turn would take its place during the week. The point of all of this local nostalgia is the power. For several years under NS, 
Taylor was often a bastion of cool locomotive power. Foreign units, heritage units, special units, and two and three locomotive lash-ups. In the beginning, my beloved SD40-2s in duplicate and triplicate were the local staple power. But one after another, the endearing EMDs were retired from the roster and heavy-duty road diesels took over the local switching duties. Not a bad trade-off at the time, but in recent times, the big two and three locomotive lashups have disappeared. And now all we get at Taylor is usually a lone unit, usually in the form of boxy wide cab GEs. The world just keeps on turning, and railroading just keeps on changing. It's just not always for the better. For Trains 21, call me AC.